hey you guys oh what's up hey girl hey welcome back to the channel so as you guys can see i don't have my hair done i don't have my makeup done this is a makeup collection video it's gonna be an updated version i literally today just as i'm filming this just finished going through pulling out stuff that needs to be panned hopefully you guys have already seen it um, pulling out stuff that needs to be panned, stuff I'm giving away in giveaways that's brand new, stuff I'm going to let friends and family go through, and I got rid of a ton of makeup. Now, as you watch this video with me, um, please keep in mind that I'm still a YouTuber, so I'm still going to have quite a bit of makeup. Um, I was really, really, really hoping that when I went through my makeup this time that I was going to do a Jessica Braun and be able to pan or not pan but declutter like she does and so far I can't do it and I think the reason that let me try to fix my hair y'all I think the reason that I can't do it as well as Jessica does is because Jessica's a very big youtuber she's one of my all-time favorites I have been following Jessica since her very first upload and it's just so amazing to watch her grow I'm sorry I'm getting off into other things but I just I just want people to understand why I can't declutter like she does. She's really um, minimized her makeup collection, and I'm so proud of her. But also keep in mind that Jessica gets sponsorships. She, I mean, YouTube is her full-time job. So she gets, you know, a decent revenue for her videos and things like that, as well as other YouTubers that do this. So I can't declutter like that because I have to have makeup to, you know, I'm a makeup channel, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along now. We're going to start off in the primer. So we're going to start off in the reverse that I did the declutter in. If you haven't seen that, check it out here. Maybe come back and check out this video when you're done. I also want to point out, I forgot to show you guys the sign. It says, I love you to the moon and back. Um, little G, aka my girl Sharon on here. Hey boo. She made that for me and sent it to me. I love getting things like this from you guys. It means so much to me. Um... So, you know, don't forget the P.O. boxes down there if you want to send a card, write a letter, anything like that. I love getting homemade stuff from you guys. Like, it means the world to me. It really does. Even if you guys, like Denise um, did this picture here that says Slay Girl Slay. Sorry, I'm still cleaning up my beauty room. Or no, this one says Slay All Day because of the saying right here that we say to each other. So I, it just means a lot to me. It lets me know that you guys are thinking of me and I keep all of this stuff. Even the cards that you guys send from the little messages and stuff that you guys send stuff to me and I, I keep it all, I love it. So just wanted to point that out there. Um, so let's go ahead and get into my updated makeup collection video. I apologize for the long intro. Alright you guys, so starting off in my primer drawer, I decluttered quite a few primers. I'm just going to kind of go through and show you guys a few things here and there that I kept. I kept some pore primers like the Benefit um, Professional, the hydrating one, still trying that. Kept my ride or die, the Haley's Beauty Refine Pore Primer, I love this stuff. And you guys know that I love the Rude Pornographic No Problem Primer. Um, I also kept all of my putty primers and I had an extra one so I threw that in with a giveaway. Still love my Catrice One Minute Face Perfector and the Hard Candy Primer Balm. Still love this. This is still available on e.l.f. Cosmetics if you were wanting to try out the milk one. This is an amazing dupe and it smells amazing. So, other than the ones that I have on my filming table to declutter, this is what I have left for primers. Before this door, this drawer was absolutely ridiculous. I could not even see what I had, and it was just so overwhelming. I just wanted to close it. So, really happy with this. Moving on to the next drawer, this one looks a little chaotic, I'm sure, to most people, but this is what I kept for eye primers, except for what's on my table, which would be the Makeup Revolution. Um, Whatever Eyes and Central, it's the little pot one. I love the Profusion one. I love this concealer as an eye primer. It is amazing. I think I'm almost out of this. Um, I love the Believe Beauty one. It's amazing. Still have some of that stuff back there. 
also this makeup revolution one like this is really really good as well keep in mind any of the newer products you may have seen as far as eye primers or i mean any kind of makeup that is not in here it's because i'm still testing it out for you so these were like my extra eyebrow pencils and stuff i'm keeping all of that and then here's what i have for eye pencils other than what is already um, in a bin for a video or on my filming table. So sometimes there's stuff missing. Um, I love these clear brow gels from Makeup Revolution. Still have my brow stylus that I've been trying to pan forever. Got some e.l.f. here, some Wet n Wild, AOA, XX Revolution. We also have some It Cosmetics. The Marilyn one from Hard Candy is actually really good. It's a micro brow. Let's move on to the next drawer. So moving on down here, we just have some backup eyeliners. Yeah, backup eyeliners. Um, a bunch of mascaras. I, I need to go through these. Like I need to use them up. <laughs> have a bunch of eyeliners here. I really um, kind of went in depth in my makeup declutter video and really pointed those out for you guys. As well as a backup shadow switch back there and some makeup wipes. Moving on to this drawer here. In case you guys have never seen this because it's hard to see behind me. This is what's on the drawer back here. I have a video that I'll be doing soon by Julia. As well as some um, products that were sent to me by Zenil Jewels. I'll tell you the story about them later. That's why you guys never saw the video with this ring and this ring. But when you hear the story, you'll understand. <laughs> so in this drawer here, I keep mostly face palettes that have a mixture of everything or things that just have like a contour and a highlight. Um, so most of these are face palettes. Most of them are affordable. We got the Wet n Wild Dolce de Leche. That is a staple. If you have not tried it, I'm telling you it's amazing. Um, we have the Profusion. This is a $5 palette. It is the bomb. Got the City Color Cheek Me Out. I love this palette. If you guys have not seen that video, I will link it up here in the eye. It's an older video, but they still have this available, and it's still really good. Love my BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease, as well as the Physician's Formula Butter Collection with Wiley. And then these are smaller palettes. I've got like the Ace Butte one over here, Butte. Um, this one from Shop Miss A is really good, the Shaping and Strobing one by Zuri. And then I've also got, sorry guys, my CoverGirl one in here. I really, really like this. If you're looking for an inexpensive version, you could go right to the drugstore, pick this up. They have several colors and you get a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. Mine is in... Let's see, the color, well, all the information is right there, so hopefully you guys can see that. Moving on, I have mostly highlights in here. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Supreme Metal one, or actually here, that way you guys can see. This one is for if you want that wet highlight look. It is so bomb. Then what else do we have? We have some Catrice, we have some City Color. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on City Color. They are so inexpensive and so good. We have some Believe Beauty, we have some CYO, Folklore, and of course the LA Colors. These are $1. This one here you can find either at your local Dollar Tree or even Dollar General. Moving on to the next drawer, we have some lip products. So what I did, and I explained this in my makeup declutter, is I took these little, um, these little, what do you call these? <laughs> They're like a three, can, three drawer container almost. And I just put my lipsticks in there. It does a great job of keeping them organized. I can see what I have and I love it. Now, if you saw my previous makeup uh, collection videos, I had a lot more lipsticks than this and they just had to go. Like, if it's not being used, it's gotta go. So, this is what I have left as far as lipsticks. And then if you move over here, we have some um, liquid lipsticks. You gotta have the Maybelline ones. They are amazing. Um, I really like these as well by Ooh La La. You can find her over on Instagram. I'll link her down below. She has amazing lipsticks, and I'm telling you guys, these stay till you take them off. 
what else do we have in here? We have all the Alter Ego liquid lipsticks. I highly recommend these. You can actually check out a video here where I swatch all of these on my lips. And then I actually, one of these days, want to get more of these Black Radiance ones. Super lightweight on the lips, really pretty, like three or four bucks. Um, I have some Ofra, Hank and Henry, Smashbox. What else? Oh, and I swear by these, if you want to splurge or spoil yourself, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Lancome La Absolute. These are beautiful lip stains. They stay all day long. They're so beautiful. They're expensive, so I generally wait for them to go on sale. Otherwise, they're like $24 or $26. We have a couple more Dollar Tree lipsticks back here by Sinful. And then we have another lip drawer. <laughs> I have all of my Wet n Wild lippies in here, as well as Jordana, my NYX Butter Creams, um, or Soft Matte Lip Creams, my bad. So that's what's in here. I love the Wet n Wild lippies. They're just, to me, they're so good, and they're so inexpensive. So, give you guys a sneak peek. We've got all those. Then over here, I have a couple of the Jeffree Star ones, the Marilyn ones by Hard Candy. Also, I highly, highly, highly recommend these Ulta Beauty. These are dead on dupe formula for the La Absolute that I just showed you for the Lancome. So if you don't want to splurge and spend the money on those, definitely check these out. And here is what they look like. Just in case you want a screenshot. Moving back on. Let's see what else. There's some J Cat in here as well. Right here is all of my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lip Paints as well as uh, my e.l.f. Um, liquid lip remover. Sorry, guys. And then you got to have the CoverGirl one to hydrate the lips sometimes or kind of lock that lip color in there. So as you can see, I have all that space in the back because I got rid of a lot, <laughs> kind of. Moving on, this is the last and final lip drawer. And here I have all of my Profusion uh, lip paints in here. I do not have the lip liners that go with these. Um, I have all of the three packs that they have as well as the 10 pack that is on their website, guys. I will link the three pack down below for you. And I will also link down the 10 pack that I'm talking about because they come with 10 shades in them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's such a good formula. So in this one, I have everything from Kat Von D to um, Elf. We have some collab, Anastasia, Believe Beauty. Don't sleep on Believe Beauty, guys. Super affordable at your local Dollar General. We have some Amuse. These are $1 on Always Me. We have some Folklore, L'Oreal. What else? Yep, that's about it in that one. So moving on. This is mostly my high-end palettes. Um, it's just a little bit of every brand that I like. Now, keep in mind, there's still some stuff out that um, I have not finished reviewing or it's in a box for a video. So I've got the Kristen Dominique Celestial palette, the full size, the Urban Decay Born to Run, the Balm, Too Faced, um, the Naked Honey. This is some kind of pro... I don't know how you say that brand name right there. I think it's Sueva or something like that. Protégé is really good. I got that in a boxy charm. We have the Alamar Cosmetics. We have the original Artist Couture Midnight Maven. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. We have my recently purchased Natasha Denona. The Vizzy Art. We have some Too Faced here. The Natural Eyes. I love this. We also have some Tarte. I really like the Tarte ones that come like this. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but they just recently, actually yesterday, launched a mini pack that has this, the Tarte Lip Bloom, and a brand new palette in it. Very good deal. Um, it's like a mini version of this palette. It's so good. I have so many shades panned in there. <laughs> um, I like this Pure Festival palette, like when you want to get bright and crazy. We have some more Ace Butte and then the Icon London. Guys, moving on to what I like to call my Anastasia drawer. <laughs> it may be missing a palette or two. I can't remember if I still have it in with uh, stuff for a video. But here is my Modern Renaissance. Do you guys know I purchased this and I still have not been able to crack into it yet? But it's a classic and I had to have it. There's the Jackie Ina. 
These should be sitting up. So here are my Norvina palettes from the um, ABH Norvina collection. This one I actually did a giveaway on. And here is my Conspiracy palette from Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. Down here I have a little bit of everything as far as affordable palettes go. I have all my BH Cosmetics palettes down here that I still have. Here's the Carly Bible. Um, here's another Festival palette from BH. We have the Desert Oasis Classic. This one is gorgeous. You guys have to get this. So pretty. Then we have these newer palettes that they've come out with. Beautiful in Barcelona. Hanging in Hawaii. And then I have the Avocado Toast. Also, clean color. You guys know I love clean color. This is a gorgeous palette. Here's what the palette is if you guys want to look it up. I also did a video with this. I will link it right here in the eye. Got a City Color Face palette. And then we have some more clean color as well as a muse. Those I will link the video for down in the description box. I do have all of these Milani palettes. The other soft and sultry is in another drawer. Moving over here. Really quickly, I'm going to flash this at you guys. That right here is um, where all of the faves and fails have gone. So I don't want to show that to you guys, but it is full. <laughs> So here is my new foundation drawer. This is like my everyday go-to. Um, that one's not supposed to be in there. So I did get rid of quite a few foundations. Um, I try to get rid of ones that mostly didn't match me or that are old and I just don't reach for. So this is what it left me with. I know it's still quite a few. I will probably go through here again because I'm not actually happy with the amount that's left over. So we have like the City Color Be Nude. You guys loved that on me. I got so many compliments on that one. As well as the Skin Insurance by J-Cat. I still have my CYO. But if you were wanting to try the CYO one. And you can no longer get it because CYO is gone. Try the Soap and Glory. I actually did a video on that as well. Got the Haley's Beauty uh, Dewy and Luminous. Gotta have the Maybelline Fit Me. Gotta have the number 7. Um, I still have my, what is that called? The Maybelline Stay whatever. <laughs> this one. Still got that. Still got the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I rave to you guys about this Candid Glow all the time. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's so good. And it's always on sale at Target. I don't know why. Still have my Revolution CC Perfecting. We've got the Age Rewind or the Age Perfect Radiant. Um, we got some BB cream back there. Still got the Dream Urban. This is actually almost gone. I need to just go ahead and finish it. I'm not going to go through every one of these guys. It'll take me all day. <laughs> Still got the ColourPop Pretty and Fresh. I think that is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I just need the right color. Um, I have the Light Illusion. I think this is the wrong one. Let me see. No, nope, it's in Classic Tan. Still have the Joa Truly Yours. It is a beautiful formula. Got the e.l.f. Um, I don't remember what this is called. Oh, Flawless Finish, you guys. When this first came out, y'all, I was on it. Your girl went through so many of these bottles. Got the Infallible Fresh Wear. We got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy, my Believe Beauty. I've already gone through two of the Believe Beauty, believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, concealers, I did not do a good job at getting rid of them. Um, <laughs> I love my concealers and I go through so much concealer. So there's everything in there from the Revlon Candid to the e.l.f. Um, hydrating one. ColourPop Pretty and Fresh. We got Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Um, this one by uh, Femme Couture. You can find them at Sally's Beauty. We got them. We got e.l.f. Essence, Tarte, Romal. We got everything. Actually, this is a shade adjuster, so that should be in here. So in this one right here, I have a potted, it's like a BB cream, um, but it's a tinted moisturizer. So I have that from Iris and Romeo. I got my AOA stuff. I have my hourglass. I have my contour sticks that I love. More shade adjusters. Um, concealers by NYX, the HD photo, whatever it is. And then I have my L'Oreal Infallible. I also have a backup of the Flower Beauty because you cannot run out of that. 
<laughs> now my Walmart used to sell them they no longer do so when I when Flower Beauty has a sale and I have the extra cash I will order a backup also have a backup of the NYX Born to Glow and an e.l.f. powder dry skin girls if you are looking for one to set your under eyes flawlessly and did not dry them out that one is legit it moving on <laughs> We do have some more foundations here. These are more so summer shades right here. That's why they're down here. Um, I do still try to mix them and wear them periodically. And then I have all my high-end foundations here. So Zoeva, Anastasia, Tarte, Too Faced, Clinique. I love Clinique. I meant to throw this one out. This one is so old, but it's so good. Um, Kosas, again, Clinique Pure. Too Faced. I love the Too Faced Born This Way. It's so good. Love those as well. Got some collab. If you guys have never tried collab before, girl. So good. There's the Matte and the Bright Spark Foundation. They're both really good. And the Matte Foundation, if you have dry skin, you could totally get away with it. Fenty actually goes over here. It's just... Yeah. Down here I have all my highlighters. Um, I did not... I did get rid of one. I got rid of one highlighter, I think. And so here's like a bunch of singles. We got Wet n Wild, Elf. Um, these two from LA Colors that are $1. If you can find these at Dollar General or the Dollar Tree, I I'm telling you, pick them up. They're in Glow Time and Shine Bright. These are legit, guys. These will make you have that wet look. I have Artist Couture, which there will be a couple more going in here after I... Um, share them with you guys on my channel we got believe beauty we have the ones from cody airspun we have physicians formula chilling out here in the back these ones i found at dollar general i actually got rid of all the other colors and kept pink and yellow and these are their loose face and body shimmers you guys these are gorgeous and they have so many colors so one dollar Got some Revolution back there, as well as a Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild. Um, we have some of the Maybelline Master Chromes. I love those. We also have some CoverGirl. CoverGirl makes really good highlights. Uh, what is this one? Oh, Catrice used to make bomb highlights, but I cannot find this one anymore. So I'm going to assume that they discontinued it. Got the Amrezy. Some more uh, Wet n Wild. Some more Revolution look at this packaging and this highlight is legit bomb <laughs> also got some LA colors right here you can find these at Dollar General Family Dollar for like three it's either three or five dollars I can't remember but they're really good um we got elf we got amuse we got flower beauty clean color megawatts this is legit lit you guys got the wet and wild one and then who remembers bad habit that's the rose palette. All right, guys, so down here I have my mirror. I store my mirror down here on filming days and I'm not gonna be using it. I have an extra facial toner, an extra eye cream. And then I have some of my like different brand palettes down here. This crown one I'm gonna get rid of, it's old. This CoverGirl one I'm gonna let go, it's old. I got rid of it once and put it back. <laughs> this Endless Possibilities I'm gonna keep. I got the Shop Miss A, A, or sorry, the AOA um, XOXO palette. This one from Believe Beauty. Really, really good. Beauty Creations tease me. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I have all these shades, but I will show it to you. And then this one I replaced with Alter Ego. And then Prolux. They have some good shadows as well. They're not my favorite, but they're not horrible. All right, guys, so this is the Beauty Creations Tease Me palette. As you can see, she got some love. We had a good time, but <laughs> um, she's kind of old, I think, and I've used it. I have plenty of these shades still in my collection, and I just don't feel comfortable passing it on. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. And then I'm going to show you guys this Beauty Glazed one. This is their Perfixed, I think. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Huda um nude bliss or whatever that palette was called Let me set this down for you guys and then so here's the inside of it it is popped i used the crap out of this thing <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and toss this one as well it's pretty ranky 
but I, if you're going to purchase this color story, I'm telling you, I would go for Alter Ego. It's just a better formula and it lasts longer on the eyes. But don't get me wrong, I did a video on this. I enjoyed the palette while I had it and it was all I had, so I'm not knocking it. But it's time to say goodbye. Hi ladies. So we have the Artist Couture Caliente PR box. You guys let me know. Big thumbs up if you want to see this one used. It is a gorgeous collection. And it, I also have two more highlighters by Artist Couture. This is sitting out because this is the makeup and everything that I used for the Mac Daddy Masterclass. It was so much fun, you guys. I had a blast. Please let me know um, in the comments down below with a heart emoji if you want to see the look recreated that we did in the Masterclass and kind of learn some of the tips and tricks. Over here we have my Marilyn Stuff. These are a few clean color bottles. I just thought they were really pretty. Um, that's some of my, don't look at the Mariah Carey one. She need to be dusted. But here's some of my perfumes. The rest are downstairs. If you guys want to see my Bath and Body Works collection, I'm telling you, let me know down below. Here's my Good Molecules fridge. Shout out to Good Molecules for hooking us up. They are amazing, and I love my fridge. Whoop -de -whoop. All right, let's get back to the makeup. So, moving into my powder drawer here, this is what we have left. We have some, a couple of high-end in the back. Um, you guys know I like to keep it mostly affordable on my channel. So we have some Too Faced, Laura Mercier, Jouer, Hourglass, Makeup Forever. Um, I'm still finishing up my travel size of this, but I can't wait to dip into that big boy. All right, so drugstore, we have the Maybelline Fit Me. We have CYO. This needs to go, actually. This is super old. What else do we have? The e.l.f. Halo Glow. We have the e.l.f. Sheer. What is this one? Soft Luminous. This is really pretty. Very lightweight. Very, very, very finely milled. We also have some Makeup Revolution. We have the XX Revolution. Uh, the Maryland Hard Candy. These are Clean Color and AOA. These are really good. I love all these powders. Except for that one. I'm still trying to like it. Oh. <laughs> so, in this one, we also have some Makeup Revolution Hard Candy. We've got Physician's Formula, Flower Beauty, Clean Color. You guys know I love Clean Color. Some more Physician's Formula, L'Oreal Age Perfect. More Physician's Formula, BH. Uh, more Makeup Revolution, more Physician's Formula. As you can tell, I love Physician's Formula. We have a Ramel. We have another Ramel. We have more Physician's Formula. Um, Clean Color. This is my favorite powder from Clean Color, the Nude Glow Finishing Powder. More Makeup Revolution. Obviously, I like Makeup Revolution. <laughs> we have some Catrice, the Prime and Fine Luminizing Waterproof Powder have some more hard candy we have some more revolution we got some Ulta if you guys were ever wondering about this Ulta mineral illuminating powder girl she gorgeous to set the whole face with and we also have some more elf so moving on this is one of my favorite drawers in my collection because it's got my ColourPop Juvia's Place all of my LA color palettes or no LA girls I'm sorry I did not buy the Break Free collection because I already have these six. I just feel like there's so many similar colors that I don't need the Break Free collection. Don't get me wrong, it was hard not to buy it. <laughs> so I have some of my Maybelline palettes in here. These are my three favorite from Maybelline so far. Um, and then I have my Alter Ego. I'm missing two Alter Ego palettes out of here because I'm still reviewing them for you. We have some Beauty Creations. This is my favorite palette from Beauty Creations. It's called Seduce Me. We have, I can't remember what this is called, Coastal Suns. This is the Revealed Rouge palette. I have a video on that. Um, these are most of my ColourPop palettes. I still have a few that have not been used on my channel, um, but I think I'm going to pull them out of that drawer. That way I can use them. My favorite You Can Be palette of all time is the Belonging palette. I talk about this all the time. This is a dead-on dupe for Born to Run. It's actually a better formula <laughs> so i have the w7 queen b recently reviewed the pretty poison by bad habit everybody remembers that 
And then we have Bad Habit, Bad Habit. This is the Retro Love, and this is the, um, I think it's called Aura. And then we also have the Colt Collection. I will never let these go. They're so wonderful. Bad Habit, bring them back. <laughs> then I also have these palettes from Bad Habit. Who remembers those? I know they're old. I need to let them go. Don't judge me. So this right here is a hot, hot, hot mess. Um, this is all new stuff that needs to go on the channel. Don't judge me. <laughs> this is what I call partly my profusion drawer because everything from here to here is all profusion as well as everything here. And like you just saw in that drawer, I actually have quite a few more profusion palettes that will be going in here. I have all of my Amoris palettes here except for the two that I have not tested. Revolution starts here and then we have more Revolution here here <laughs> that's profusion and then under here i have the morphe 35 i think it's called the gems palette we have the jaclyn hill palette i don't want to talk about that <laughs> moving on i also did a really good job with this uh drawer right here i feel like these two right here were completely stuffed full um there was more palettes over here i got rid of them so over here I have like five or six LA Colors palettes. I rave about these all the time and I feel like people don't hear me. <laughs> these are so good and they're only $8 and they're so beautiful. I actually have the blue one and um, I need to review it. So from here to here is e.l.f. These are all e.l.f. palettes. Um, I did get rid of quite a few e.l.f. palettes. I'm telling you guys there was a day when I had them all and I had to stop. I had to stop myself. There is part of my Wet n Wild collection. Um, I just, I love Wet n Wild, what can I say? <laughs> um, here is some of my liquid eyeshadows. I have a ton in that drawer that I showed you guys where all the new stuff is that needs to be tested. There is the majority of my L'Oreal Infallibles. I'm missing a few. <clears throat> well, they're not missing, they're in um, drawers. Now, these white shadows I was supposed to get rid of. Um, these are only 50 cents at the dollar store. I'm talking uh, Dollar General. They're by LA Colors. They're super pigmented. I'm not going to pull them out again because I did it in my declutter video. We have some ColourPop, Almay, L'Oreal, Wet n Wild. Back here we have all the Believe Beauty City Color. These are all City Color. They're really good. Got some eye glitter and pigments here. We got some CoverGirl LA Colors back here. CoverGirl LA Colors, LA Colors. Or no, this is Lottie London. And then these are all AOA. And I think I have a couple of, yep, AOA. This is Beauty Treats. It's really pretty. I got this at five and below. Bling, bling. <laughs> and then I have some eye pigments. The rest of my eye pigments are in the testing drawer. All right, moving on. We have my blush palettes here. And yeah, so all blush palettes. And then um, I have a lot of my single blushes by Clean Color here. I love these, they're so good for a dollar. All of these are bronzers. Um, I actually got rid of quite a few bronzers as well. I'm so proud of myself. Like I know, again, to some people, this probably seems like a lot, but for me, this drawer was packed and I'm just, I'm so happy. <laughs> so for bronzers, I have, Benefit, W7, BH, uh, Revolution, XX Revolution, um, Wet n Wild, NYC, um, Anastasia, Hard Candy, you get me boo. <laughs> Moving on to blushes, this is one of my second favorite parts of my collection, I love blush. So actually let's go back over here to the palettes i completely forgot to show them to you guys so i have this bh nude palette it's so pretty and then we have a makeup obsession peach palette this is the bh peach bellini um i love this palette by revolution x roxy everybody can wear this everybody and the same with her contour palette like i love it got the five dollar profusion blush palette you guys these blushes are so pigmented and long lasting five bucks still got the elf original um, light I've replaced this so many times because I've always used it up 
um, we got some BYS. That's a cream blush. I actually found this at Family Dollar, and it is really, really pretty and super pigmented. Got some Real Her. We have LA Girl. Don't mind this over here. That's empty stuff for a video. Um, let's see. LA Girl. Profusion, of course. Um, we have Catrice. And I showed you guys this stuff here. So, blushes. Let's get into it. So, we have Revolution. We have L'Oreal. We have City Color, Rimmel, the B Maxi blushes. We got Wet n Wild, some hard candy. We have some Bare Minerals, Elf. <laughs> we got the Ulta Beauty. We have some Anastasia, some Kosas. Um, that's Bare Minerals. We got Note. Flower Beauty. We got some CoverGirl. This one is so good. It was part of their peach collection and it's just gorgeous. It's like the most perfect peach ever. We got the Burt's Bees one that Juicy Jazz raves about. This one is in Toasted Cinnamon. It's really pretty for in the fall in my opinion. But right now I've been obsessed with these two XX Revolution blushes. One is Entice and one is Obscure. They are stunning. Got some more Revolution because I can't quit buying from them. Some ColourPop. We got some ColourPop back here and Believe Beauty. Bunch of the AOA ones. I love these. They're a dollar and they are fire. Got some more Believe Beauty. Um, NYX. I have some more of these NYX Sweet Cheeks because I love them, but they're in a uh, box for the video. Got some Lorac. We have Catrice and some JCAD. So. I did a really good job, again, at getting rid of stuff. Um, I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys for a minute, and then I think I'm going to close this video out. Now, I want to show you guys my filming table, but it is a hot, 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 hot ass mess. So, I'm just going to bring one of the bins over to you and show you that. So, I knew I was missing some palettes. Here are my Wet n Wild palettes. That's the 32 shade one that came out last year. Really pretty. The metallic one. This is so gorgeous. And then the 40 palette. I'm sorry, but you cannot go wrong with this. It's so good for what it is. Down here, I have some bins of stuff that needs to be tested. This all needs to be tested. <laughs> that doesn't need to be tested. That doesn't. But, like, there's a bunch of clean color makeup in here. And then my BH Cosmetics Cotton Candy one I have not used. Got some new Marilyn Monroe stuff that launched. Thank you, Sharon. You are a doll. The new You Can Be Luxury Gathering palette that I teased you guys with on Instagram. Haven't touched it. Haven't touched the stuff in here. We got some more C color. You can be um, my Jaclyn Hill palette volume two I have played with. It is a freaking bomb. Just putting it out there. And then this new Ruby, uh, Pink Ruby by Omoris. We also have another You Can Be Pink Mojito. I love this palette. Just putting it out there. Um, we got some Elf Profusion. We got a little bit of everything in here. Some Bare Minerals, the Enchanted palette, some Wet n Wild. Y'all. <laughs> here is the bin I'm still testing, so I can't show it to you. And then I have these three bins here, plus a bin on my filming table for a video. So as you can see, I don't need any more makeup, um, and please don't think I'm bragging because I'm not. This I am going to brag about. Um, I have a bunch of stuff on my table that I decided to pan, so tons of stuff in here. I have some stuff in the drawer that you're sitting on right now. I'm so excited to get rid of that stuff, and I have some stuff here that I'm going to pan. I have a highlighter and some bronzers and some powders. I'm just so happy to have pulled it all out of my collection so that I can use it on a daily basis, you know? Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my makeup collection. I enjoyed sharing it with you. Um, I think we'll do an updated one of these here pretty soon. I, I really had fun with this. I, I kind of wanted to go more in depth, but my battery's dying, and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me ramble. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you saw anything in the new testing bins that you guys want to see that you haven't seen already. I love you guys so, so much. Um, thank you as always for taking time out of your days to hang out with me. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and come hang out with us. We have a ton of fun on this channel. Do a little bit of everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!